Hello everyone and welcome to another Schools and Agents Bulletin from my car. <laughs> um, this week I wanted to talk to you about two main things which are completely unrelated um, but that is what a bulletin is all about. So it's to keep you updated and even though things might be unrelated to each other it's important that um, we let you know about them. So the first thing that I wanted to speak of was the Felton workshop that we attended earlier on this week. It was a nice opportunity for us, um, even though we are based in Malta. But um, as we always say, you know, sometimes it's easier to see people at workshops, even though, you know, you can just grab the car and go and visit the school. But obviously, everybody is busy. So we don't do that as often as we would like to. So it was nice to see some familiar faces at this workshop, also to see the agents who were present and agents who were there there um, attending the workshop had the possibility to not only meet the schools but also visit the schools and at the same time see you know experience Malta they were very lucky because the weather over here has been really nice these past few days I think the temperature I think today it's meant to go up to about 20 even yesterday was nice and sunny so obviously they were really lucky to get this temperature during their stay in Malta but that was really nice honestly we hadn't attended a Felton workshop in quite a few years so it was nice to be back and it was nice to see uh, you know all of these people so that was the first thing the second thing like i said is completely unrelated and today i want to take the opportunity to talk to you a little bit about content sorry my hand needs a break <laughs> uh, to talk to you a little bit about content so you know that at schools and agents we always emphasize the importance of content and we always say that our personal business model and the business model that we suggest to our clients is that they are consistent first of all and that they publish frequent content and by content we mean articles and written content more than anything now I will delve a little bit into that um, I will delve deeper into that in a little bit but let us start with the written content we emphasize the importance of written content so much because written content is what is going to get people to see you it's what's going to make you visible why because through this content especially if you send us content which is optimized or especially if you ask us to help you create optimized content then we are making sure that you are ranking higher on search engines so it's not just a question of enhancing your brand increasing your visibility all of that is important but it's what goes into increasing that visibility that is important for you to understand so that is why we stress and we emphasize that it's important for you to send content i'm saying this especially for those schools who have memberships with us and they don't really know whether they can send us content or how much content they can send us get in touch with us so first of all, we can clarify that. And second of all, if your membership doesn't entitle you to send us content, we can rectify that very easily and we can make sure together that you can start to send us content. If you don't have the time to do it, if you get stuck and you don't know what to write about, again, we can help you. So don't give up on content just because you don't have the time or the human resources. Because like I said, content is going to rank you higher, not just on our website, not just on your blog post, on your blog page, but also on social media. Content is going to make you visible on social media as well. So if you write, oh, that's better with my hand. <laughs> if you write um, captions, which are longer captions which are optimized then even your social media is going to start ranking higher and people are going to start finding you on your social media as well which at the end of the day isn't that why we post on social media we post on social media so we are visible so people see us and find us so that is why it is very important now another question that we get asked very often is 
video content. How important is video content? The simple answer is very important. Video content is very important because nowadays people no longer have the time or the attention span to read um, 600 word, 700 word articles. So it is much easier to say all of that in a short video exactly like I'm doing over here and then write an article which complements the video rather than the other way around. So it's better to even go through your library of videos, go through your YouTube channels and create content, create articles based on the videos that you already have. And then when it comes to sending us content for schools and agents, you send us the video that you have together with a short write-up. It could be 150, 200 words. That is, you know, the, the optimum number of words for for an article 200 even you can stretch it as far as 250 i don't recommend going beyond that um so just a couple of paragraphs a video a nice image and there you go your content is done the most important thing wherever you get stuck don't give up on content speak to us we can help you it's better to have short frequent optimized content keep those three words in mind short frequent optimized it's better to have short frequent optimized content than random content being published on your social media channels on your blog and especially on your blog it's better to stick to for example one blog post per month than to say oh no you know i want to have one blog post per week of course it's better for your seo to have one blog post per week but if you can't keep it if you can't remain consistent, so if you can't continue publishing one blog post per week because things will soon start getting busy, then it's better to not start with one a week at all. It's better to start with one a month and then up it for a bit. Maybe let's say you have a couple of weeks or three weeks where things are quiet, so you might want to produce more content rather than starting very very strongly and then after a couple of months you realize that you can't maintain that frequency you can't maintain that consistency and you go down so i think to summarize what we said today first of all we spoke of the felton workshop and second of all we spoke of the importance of having consistent and optimized um, content that is published on your channels if you get stuck with content, always drop us a line. If you don't know whether your membership entitles you to publish content, also drop us a line and we can help you with that information. So for the time being, that's it from me for today. And I'll see you again next week with the next edition of the Schools and Agents Bulletin. Take care, everybody, and have a lovely weekend.